Girl YouTube, one only X Ram here. If you ever want to know what it's like to drive in the Southwest, look out here. Straight road, train tracks, mountains, and then just nothing. Beautiful nothingness in a vehicle blocking your shot. And apparently speed limit signs, which are new, I guess. I like they're not even telling me to slow down, so I'm good. <laughs> So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna go check out a vehicle. Can't tell you what it is yet. It might replace this. It might be added to it. Or it might not get it at all. You know, it's great answers for you, I know, but it could be could be really fun. And it will be different should it should I get it. So we'll see. I get to show you what my Instagram post was about. No, I didn't get the rims that are drawn on there. They were unavailable, unfortunately, but hey, you know, I guess the ones that are on here will do. So, without further ado. So you might be wondering, why trade your Hellcat in for an SUV? You gotta be having kids, right? That's usually what most people will say. That's actually what I've been asked multiple times every time I say, yeah, I'm gonna get an SUV. Oh, you got kids or something? No, no, I don't have kids, which is fine. But the reason, there's actually several reasons, but mainly is we have giant dogs. <laughs> great Dane, Rottweiler, and one another Great Dane. Our Hellcat and the vet, yeah, they don't work. They don't work for dogs, unfortunately. So, something this size, absolutely perfect. Also, you're probably wondering, why the hell didn't you get a V8 or the supercharged one? Uh, they're expensive. <laughs> I couldn't see spending 60 to 100 grand on an SUV where the interior is that of what this is, a $25,000 SUV. It's the same exact interior but it just has the motor and I couldn't see spending that much for just the engine. So with the package that this thing has, all bells and whistles. It's got a panoramic sunroof. It's gorgeous. Tons of room for our, oh God, how tall is he? Four foot eight, friggin' uh, Great Dane. Just enough room, and of course, like I said, this sunroof will open and he can stick his head out there. Does her. <laughs> Come here. Come on, sit. Good boy. Look at you. Good boy. Perfect. Good. Stay. Right there. Stay. Got a leather wrap dash, you know, the uh, 8.4 inch screen, and you know, all the upgrade amenities that you would want. You know, this is a 2016, 59,000 miles on it. So to be this clean at that mileage, it was too much of a good deal to pass up. It's also got a Harman Kardon system in it. So the audio is fantastic. And it's exactly what I had in the Hellcat. So I know what it's gonna sound like. It's got heated vented seats, which in Arizona is a must because it's, you know, hot as shit all the time. Um, the heated part, actually, you know, with leather, when it's cold outside, it's kind of nice to have that little warmth on your butt and back. <laughs> it makes it feel really good. Aside from, you know, this thing being fully loaded, the other reason for this SUV is, obviously, we have motorcycles. And I need to get them to the racetrack. Well, uh, now I have a vehicle that I can actually tow them. So, I'm not going to be towing, I think this thing has 4,000 pounds tow capability. I don't really care about 4,000 pounds. My bikes are 400 at most. So I can put three of them on there and be well under the tow capacity. There's a lot of aspects that go into getting this vehicle and uh, I couldn't be happier with it. The, the people at Kersey Chrysler Dodge Ram, uh, Chris Shelton specifically, my sales guy, 
freaking helped me out so much and their financial guys got it got it squared away to where our payments and everything else is right where we need on the be. so i want to thank those guys for getting this deal done and getting us out the door with something we actually want you know another thing though is i'm going to be driving a lot more next uh next year my next semester i gotta go back and forth to class and everything a lot uh so racking up a ton of miles on the hellcat just didn't make sense so you know life tells you to change things up and well here we are love the dash of this love the screens that can come up uh another really cool feature is adaptive cruise control <laughs> played with that the other night driving home from uh phoenix and i tell you what to have a vehicle that breaks for you that's <laughs> freaking cool um but yeah i mean it's V6. <laughs> it sounds decent for what it is. Uh, so after I've driven this for a few days or a couple weeks, I'll probably do a full review of you know my impressions of this SUV. I know most of my reviews are either on a motorcycle or between a Corvette and a Hellcat. So I'm hoping that I can convey the practicality of this vehicle and uh, those of you that are in the market for something like this uh, can go and see that there's some used stuff out there that are going to give you a killer deal and then also deliver everything you want. Mm -hmm.